Today I want to talk about a special type of pocket knife uh, called the Marlin Spike. Um, there are a lot of these on the market uh, that are sort of traditional, like this uh, Rough Rider, which is a, basically a reproduction of uh, an, a much older design, um, that have a um, uh, slip joint knife blade, uh, and then a second tool, which is the Marlin Spike. Um, <clears throat> there are some more modern versions of the Marlin Spike knife, but a lot of what you'll find are things that look about like this. The big bale here, which is actually a locking mechanism to keep the Marlin Spike from collapsing when you're using it. Um, if you've seen one of these, you might have thought uh, it's some sort of strange implement. Uh, looks like a, maybe some kind of medieval weapon or something like that, but it's actually got a very practical purpose. And uh, the, that purpose is to assist in the untying of knots. Um, if you have a knot that has been uh, tightened to the point that you, it's really difficult to, uh, to get it to come loose with your fingers, or if you have a big snarl of uh, rope that has been you know, mishandled and has got a bunch of little kinks and knots in it, getting that thing untied can be quite a chore. Um, you know, some people end up using the blade of a knife to cut a knot if they need to get something uh, free of a rope that has a stubborn knot in it. That'll work, but it means that you've destroyed your rope and can't reuse it. Um, so it's preferable in most cases to actually get that knot untied. And some people will recommend improvising something that's similar to a Marlin Spike, like using the corkscrew on a Swiss Army knife. That might allow you to kind of grab at a knot and start to pull it apart, right? But the problem with corkscrew is it's corkscrew shaped, <laughs> right? Uh, it's kind of an awkward shape. It's this spiraling thing. It's also pretty acute at the point. It's pretty, pretty sharp at the point. Um, and what you often might end up doing is uh, instead of getting sort of a whole uh, a hold of, of, of an entire section of rope, you might end up stabbing into the rope, and then when you're pulling it apart, you're actually fraying the rope. You're actually pulling the strands apart with that corkscrew. Um, ideally, we want to actually insert something like a marlin spike into the knot, not into the rope. And this will allow us then to uh, loosen up a stubborn knot. It's starting to come. Boy, that one, I, I, I did pull that pretty tight. And this is just the kind of rope that it's going to give you trouble. All right, so there we go. We use the Marlin Spike to get it loose and untie the knot. Of course, this is going to be easier with larger diameter rope. Um, the Marlin Spikes are not usually real sharp at the tip. Some of them are sharper than others. This Camillus comes to a pretty a pretty sharp point, uh, whereas this Cuda, which I think is the same company as Camillus at this point, um, has a much more blunted tip. Um, 
there are pros and cons to having a, a really sharp spike. The, the con is that that sharp point makes it real easy to get, instead of into the knot, into the rope. And you can start, instead of untying your knot, you can start destroying your rope by pulling apart the, the strands and fraying it. Um, if it's not acute enough, it can be hard to get it into the knot to pull on in the first place. You'll notice that there's a big taper. Well, that allows you, as you push the marlin spike in, you're actually loosening the knot, right? You're, you're creating a bigger space to pull that uh, to pull that rope out. Okay. Um, so most of these marlin spikes lock in the open position, and then they have a sort of an unusual, uh, almost an anachronistic uh, locking mechanism. Um, they usually have a, a, a bale of some sort, and when you depress it, it releases the lock, and you can close the blade. Um, There are, there is a version of uh, the Victorinox Swiss Army knife that comes with a proper marlin spike instead of, uh, you know, corkscrew that you can use as sort of a improvised marlin spike. And that model is called the uh, Skipper Pro, and it has a blue handle, and it's not cheap. It's over $100 uh, retail right now. Um, but you can get a basic Marlin Spike knife like this one for less than $15. Um, most of these, as I said, will, will come with both the spike and a blade. And the blade will almost always have a sheep's foot profile. Um, meaning that at the end, it's got this sort of blunted end, which can be useful if you're cutting rope you can slide this underneath the rope without cutting whatever's under it. Uh, and it's also useful, this design is useful for uh, sailors when they're on a, a boat that might be a little unsteady. Uh, if they happen to drop their knife, they're a lot less likely to stab their own foot or uh, someone else's. Um, at least that's the lore of the sheep's foot knife. I don't know if that's actually historically why or how this, this blade shape was developed, but that's that's the, the common uh, anecdotal um, mythos behind the sheep's foot blade. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the basic rundown on a marlin spike. I'll show that to you one more time. So to unlock it, we're gonna just depress the bale and we can close it. Let's let's do one more good knot and uh, untie it. Okay. So we're gonna get a good stubborn knot in there. Right. It might be a challenge to untie with our fingers. And uh, instead of using our fingers, we're gonna use the marlin spike at least to get us started. And we're going to kind of dig into the knot with the marlin spike and pull. And there we go. We've, we've untied the stubborn knot. All right. Well, that's uh, that's the rundown on a marlin spike. Uh, they could come in useful, whether you're boating or camping or doing uh, any other kind of... Uh, task where you have to tie and untie knots and you want to reuse that rope. All right.